Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. There isn't really anything for you to do. There will be two recordings, two versions of this recording, one with, one without music. The one without, with music rather, will be two hours long. And the one without music will be, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes long. Uh, sometimes they're longer, depends. It's hard to tell right now because I've not I've not started it really, but it will be a it will be a length of some kind. So if you're if you're looking to fall asleep, then the ideal position would be to go and lie on your bed if you're not already doing it. If you're aiming to just to listen for the relaxation only. My suggestion would be to sit in a comfortable chair, one that supports your body in the event of you falling asleep. So, and if you have something important to do, then I would suggest that you set an alarm to wake you up. Okay? Because... There's a chance that you fall asleep, even if it's just through boredom. <laughs> really, um, I'm very. I. I guess I don't have the most exciting voice that you'll ever hear, which is useful for this, but not so good when I was a sports commentator. I used to be a sports commentator for snooker and the players used to just fall asleep stretched out on the on the table snooker table the referee would be on the floor yawning just snoring and the audience would just be just unconscious it wasn't so good so yeah this is more suited to what I do um <laughs> so There isn't, you know, as I said, anything for you to do. It's just listening to me. Just listening to me waffle on. And what I thought would be quite nice is to do a meditation. A meditation on you. A meditation on how you deserve to be happy. So I'm going to waffle on about it and maybe you can allow yourself to just get in touch with some of those emotions that may arise. Emotions concerning uh, feelings of well-being and gratitude and maybe allowing yourself the opportunity to open your mind and your heart to the simple fact that you are genuinely a really great person and you've done loads of things to help other people. Now this isn't something that perhaps we would think about ourselves on a daily basis. Because unfortunately the human mind, uh, the environment that we live in, tends to really focus more on the negativities which is why my work may be useful to you.
because this is an opportunity to spend some time exploring positivity and positive feelings but not just made up imaginary positivity but reality factual I like factual stuff I say to you all you you have so many great qualities and that can come across as insincere you know, if I say you're, you deserve to be happy, that can come across as insincere. How do I know? What do I know about it? I'm just saying it for the sake of it. Partly true, I guess. You know, I don't know each individual person, personally, who listens. There's too many people to know. But... As a human being who's lived on this planet for however long it's been, it doesn't, if whether you're 90 or 9 years old, you have been alive quite a long time. You've had lots of different experiences. You have affected lots of other people in a positive way ways that you you may not even and may never be aware of and sometimes it really is very very subtle So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna dis discuss this and you know, dig a little bit into that part of you that is tremendously kind. And I guess the question would be, why don't you allow more of that kindness? to shine on you. Allow that reservoir, endless, endless stream of kindness that you were born with. Kindness isn't really something that you learn. You may learn how to present it, how to socially act within certain barriers. But what we're more likely to learn is how not to be kind. A small child has that natural ability to be kind but at the same time, they also have the natural ability to, to be unkind and to uh, be selfish. And those are the things that they generally get picked up on. So I think there's, we sometimes rebel against kindness because we're almost forced to pretend to be kind when we're very young, instead of just naturally being kind, which we we do as well. Because we're more than just one thing. We're more than just one behavior or one emotion. As I'm talking, you may decide to just Allow yourself to relax. I'm not going to say anything particularly controversial. and This is really about focusing on 
kindness that you have inside. So I'm not really going to be necessarily talking on and on and on. But I like to express and prove to you that not about prove to you but to show that I'm not just saying these things for the sake of it this is in fact something that I put a lot of thought into now it doesn't mean it's rehearsed or I've written it down or it's a script it's not it is something that I've spoken about before and it is something that I will speak about again and it's something that I really believe that all of us have a huge amount of kindness in us inside that reservoir of kindness that is unending but for various reasons we don't maybe feel that we have easy contact with it easy access and maybe that needs to be changed and that's where I can come in because as we talk about that kindness reservoir that's inside you my words pretty much unlock the gate so that you have access the door in fact the door and the gates not only unlocked we're going to remove it and we're going to remove the wall anything that was getting in the way of you seeing and having access to that kindness Anything that was getting in the way of that kindness shining on you to remind you of how kind you are as a person. Because the more in touch you now feel with that sense of kindness that's inside you the easier it feels to be able to just be yourself and allow yourself to be kind to yourself and to whoever else you choose and even if kindness is not reciprocated it won't matter because you've also got that kindness within you shining on you directed at you so that you can know and experience and enjoy the pleasure that comes from acknowledging what a great person you are. And then all that negativity that we all have coming in during the day, negativity from other people, negativity from the television, the news, newspapers, radio, the internet, you know, all that stuff. It's not all negative, obviously. But there was a lot of negativity. That seems, it seems to lose its power, the energy that it used to have. Maybe, maybe the bravery of the negativity that it used to have changes when it now sees as it gets closer to you 
that reservoir of positivity and kindness that's within you because now the gate, the walls, the doors, everything's been knocked away so it could be seen easily from far away. Now the, the one thing that negativity cannot stand and that is kindness. It's just, it's the ultimate in positivity. Being kind to someone is, it's almost like kryptonite, you know, if you think about this Superman analogy. The closer negativity gets to kindness, the more uncomfortable it feels. And it, it will not want to come close to you. Negativity will actually go out of its way to avoid you the more available you make that kindness be able to be seen and now you've done that now you've removed the doors removed the gates the walls so that kindness reservoir that's there full of positivity love kindness which you were born with, we were all born with. Now that that can be seen, so negativity can see it, negativity can sense it. I mean, no one else can see it. I mean, it's, it's almost, I guess, I suppose, kind of invisible to the, to the eye, to the human eye. So someone comes and sees you, that may see that you're, might get a sense about you, but that negativity within them won't want to spend time anywhere near you. So they may feel uncomfortable, but that's their problem. <laughs> we can only work on ourselves. But what might happen because the negativity starts to melt and almost just evaporate when it's near kindness. When you're around someone that has a lot of negativity for whatever reasons, their negativity will automatically start to melt and they won't know why you'll feel it you'll feel your kindness compassion all those feelings will grow and even though you're not responsible for that other person and there's no reason why you'd ever need to be. Something changes. Because negativity cannot live near kindness. Because kindness is almost at the top of the list of positivity. It's so powerful. so strong and if you think about how negativity in other people are going to melt and disappear when they are near you imagine what's going to happen to that negativity within you in your mind it doesn't stand a chance does it does not stand a chance and 
Imagine. What will you do? Now that that negativity is constantly being melted away. Having the strength drained right out of it. It changes your life. It changes how you perceive the world. And then just as we've been discussing this, notice how you feel physically. Notice how relaxed you feel. Maybe you've started to drift because sleep is what you really need. And because we're talking about kindness, And if you need to just drift off to sleep, then that would be arguably the kindest thing for you to do for yourself. To allow yourself to just drift. And even though you may be moving closer to that feeling where you're not yet asleep but no longer really awake. It's a very very fuzzy and hazy area where you feel safe and completely relaxed. Safe and completely relaxed. So peaceful. Moving towards sleep. In your own time. At your own speed. can do now, those of you that are listening for relaxation, I'd like you just to go and walk up to that big reservoir of kindness, and maybe sit down on a chair at the edge, just looking at it. Noticing what it looks like, what color it is. Maybe it's changing color. Maybe it's sparkly. Perhaps it's black and white. Maybe what you really get is a feeling, a sense of that healing, positive reservoir of kindness a sense which is really strong 
And every time you sense it, you get that feeling spreading through your body. And as you just sit in that chair, observing, absorbing that energy, you can enjoy the feeling. You can notice how much more relaxed you feel just sitting by that kindness. Spreading through your body. could do is you could dip your hand into that kindness, dip your fingers in, or maybe sit on the edge and just allow your feet to go inside that kindness, that heaving deeply, deeply healing energy. And when you do that, whether it's your toes or your fingers, it's almost like a straw being sucked and that energy of kindness fills your body completely fills your body from the top of your head down to your toes. Protecting and healing all of your organs, your internal organs, strengthening your bones, cleaning out all of your arteries unclogging anything that may be clogged, making everything run smoothly, healing, healing you, making your breathing so much easier, so much smoother, And that feeling of safety that comes naturally with this kindness feels so good, really, really powerful, feeling safe. It's a lovely feeling. Knowing that you're safe. Knowing, really knowing that this healing energy of kindness is healing your body and your mind. And I'd just like you to take a, a handful of this liquid of kindness. So dip your, both your hands in. And then just lift it up and pour it over the top of your head.
and notice how that healing energy of kindness soaks through the top of your head into your brain. Notice as you pour that healing liquid of healing kindness over the top of your head that it soaks, soaks deep into your brain, filling your brain, healing your brain. The most important part of your body, your brain, healing. as you notice it's almost as if the liquid that your brain is supported in normally you know that liquid between your scalp and your brain you realize that that now has been replaced with this healing kindness full of safety healing love and as you really absorb the idea of this healing, relaxing feeling, do you experience, proves to you that from now on, that light of kindness will also shine upon you to remind you that you are an amazing person and that you do deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.